Good afternoon YouTube, this is Warmech95 here coming at you with another Transformers review. This time I've got Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Oil Slick with his crazy barrels that always fall open, which is kind of getting annoying, but as you can see, um, both barrels kind of hang over there, so I'll set them out the way now before they explode anymore and just whack them down. So, as you can see, Oil Slick turns into this really nice um, customized uh, chopper style thing. Anyone who's familiar with American Chopper um, would probably appreciate this sort of thing. Um, really, really very nice for a deluxe class figure. You know, he, he, he works so well and everything. He's got lots of lovely, lovely detail. As you can see, I'll zoom in. Um, you know, there's a lovely, oh, lovely kind of grill. Oh, out of focus. Yeah, there you go. It's lovely kind of gold grill um, design and stuff and spikes and everything. Would have been nice if again, similar with uh, Blazing Lockdown, if they'd painted the spikes gold as well to match the rest of the detail. Would have been really cool. Um, also, really nice detail. You'll get, you'll see more of that in the robot mode. But the lovely, uh, lovely kind of uh, skull wing decals uh, painted on down the side, and the big, big ram's head on the front is really cool. And you also have. Uh, gas tank uh, cap and also a few speed dials which they have taken the time just to give a wee splash of paint to as well which is really nice as well um, on the back you can see more of the gold grill stuff is really cool it's got two exhausts um, but as those who have seen animated season 3 will have seen that these like fire jets of oil um, all over the back make the Autobots slip up in vehicle mode which is really cool and stuff so yeah got some really nice uh, molding uh, like baggage clips and stuff on the back there with more spikes and the seat is kind of cool as well and even with the legs you get the impression if, they, if these were if, this, if his legs were painted silver that would make a really cool um, kind of engine block sort of thing going on there um, be really really nice so yeah as you can see lovely lovely figure um, no pretty much zero robot junk you would you know you, you can tell where everything goes and what everything's going to be but still to the entry and die zero kibble factor which is always good yay zero kibble um so yeah i'll get to transform this guy first of all what you do is you just point his oil things down and then yeah pull back the seat and rotate it that way and then separate these apart and then pull up his legs, and there you go. And you just make, just push them back that way so he can stand. I'll just open this out again. And now he's got. And there you go. There's there's always like with his big ram's head. No, 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 I'm joking. So there you go. You just take the ram's head, pull it up, and you separate these out. Now, what you do is and just readjust. Okay. You take his arm, and you fold that down in like that. And then, just inside each wheel, you have his fingers, which are made of these this lovely rubbery plastic, which is really cool. But, you know, can't have kids stabbing themselves with plastic in the eyes, which is not good, and suing, and Hasbro, and companies going bust, and all that jazz, and mothers complaining about violence and toys, blah, blah, blah. But, anyway, as you can see, lovely, lovely clawed hands there. Just open up the other one. And... The thumb which is really nice then you take the ram's head and you just pull it out of the wee peg pegs into that wee groove and on that wee groove as well when they're joined together and you just swing that around now the handlebars I'll just whack that down now the handlebars you're meant to kind of fold them down kind of like that and stuff but um, because this one gets in the way of the ram's head I just kind of tend to leave them up just so that they're kind of out of the way and um, it's just, just my personal preference really you know, makes them look at that a little bit bigger. And then you go around the back, pop the the top of the petrol can open, and then flip up his head. And there you go. There is animated oh, animated oil slick. So there you go. There's him with his So yeah, this guy is really, really nice. Um a lot of people kind of don't really kind of like oil slick for some reason, but I think he's one of the as one of the as for for deluxe. I think he is one of the best um, that came out in in that wave at that time um, and everything. 
as you can see his head is actually inside a plastic jar which I just think is really cool I mean there's no one as far as I know there's no one else out there with something with that kind of design it's really cool and he's got a fully detailed molded head with 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 light piping as well so the head the head is light piped and it's not just a, a block of plastic with the nose stuck inside a glass jar just to sh you know and um, as I said before he's got this lovely kind of lovely badass kind of uh, tattoo or electu sort of thing on his back and going underneath his arms which is really really nice got the lovely clawed hands ching 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 like Freddy Krueger and um, yeah it's really nice and down his legs are and his legs are really these long slender looking things perfect for those long leaps so yeah I'll just pull this out in terms of background oil slick um, He's very much, he's portrayed as uh, this kind of, he's like a cyber ninja who's trained with Prowl, although the cartoon hasn't really covered that kind of story yet, and I don't know if it will. Probably if season four came along, he'd probably turn up in Lockdown's company, um, you know. And, but he's also, he's also had encounters with Ratchet in the animated comic, where he, it's shown that he's a very talented, he's described on his box as a very talented chemist, and master of chemical attacks, and everything for and he's created the disease called cosmic rust where he just you throw this thing this vial of stuff at uh, Autobots and they just start to rust instantly which is really cool um, so yeah he's a really interesting character but the best thing I like about this guy is his posability because of his legs and his arms and you know the arms go that way and that way and da -da -da. his articulation in the shoulders is a bit limited because of the way the plastic is up bit there that's as far as you can go, you can't, you know, but you can take it up and out. And the same thing goes for this side, you can't really bend it any further than that, but you can bend it as far back there, so any distance in between you can probably find a, another pose for it. Um, his legs, I think, are his best feature because he's got these really long legs, you can do these really deep bent stance poses and crouches, and then you can, it took me a while, but I was able to get him to stand on one leg and do like a high kick over his head. And that's what that's one of my things that I really love about Transformers. If they can do a one-legged stand, if they can stand on one leg and do a high kick over their head, then they're worthy to stay in my collection. You know, because I I just like that. I just love that. If a figure is made that well, that it can balance that strongly on its own, I think it's brilliant. Um, it does come with these weapons, these two barrels. Um, this one is notorious. This is flail chain is notorious for coming apart at the slightest at the slightest thing, uh, jostle or movement. So they're very loose. So a bit of super glue or a bit of varnish um, around the edges of that might help it stay together. Uh, his legs can get a bit annoying, but once you get him standing, he's very solid on his feet. Um, I have two oil slicks because they're going to be part of my next painting project um, and stuff. So I was able to get two flailing weapons and you can get some really awesome poses. I like to do it one where he's just kind of chilling out with both his flails kind of hanging oh, just kind of hanging over his back just uh you know it's kind of he's gone all Bruce Lee style and stuff you know has these awesome claws which you can kind of interlace which is, which is as far as I know is a first no, no other Transformer can, as ever can do that. And he can do a lot of, you know, kind of hands on hips sort of thing. And he can do a bit of head scratching as well. And he can also, he, the, the other barrel just has a lid on it and stuff. So he, you can give him it and he looks like he's drinking. What, 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 what? Big tankard of beer or something. And everything. So, yeah, I think. And another really nice pose. Oh, no, he's, he's all caught. This is all getting crazy. I'm doing loads of reviews today, just so I can make up for lost time. One of my other favourite poses for this guy is just to go like that. So he's ready to do like a whirlwind flail of doom kind of movement there. So yeah, all in all, a very, very cool I figure for deluxe class in the animated line. Haven't seen any repaints of him, don't know if there'll be any plans to be, but um, be very interesting to see what else they might do with this guy. Um, see if the character turns up anymore in the cartoon and if not uh crunchy that's what i say but anyway this is deluxe class 
uh, oil slick for Transformers animated line. And this is Warmaker95 saying, I shall talk to you soon. Bye.